Welcome back to Reading Mega Hat Romance. So far we've seen a lot of recurring themes here. We've got the strong independent woman who puts her career above all else and doesn't need no man and that she's completely skewed her priorities by saying she needs to get this so she can be an entered into a contest to meet with Trump even if it means getting shot. So... I'm wondering what other recurring elements will come of this. Uh, let's find out. <clears throat> Her conversation with Myron gave Mary Beth new purpose, double purpose. Obtaining the survey before the deadline motivated her to return the next day. But in addition to the survey, she could study the lay of the land and feel out Justice Journey's willingness to sell. Her tools, tape measure, and cell phone were the only things she carried. This last survey would get her into the Oval Office meeting with the President. To be followed, she hoped, the interview in New York with the Trump Organization. See, that's what I don't understand. It's as she says, she's entered in for a chance to win this contest where she could meet Trump. Don't say that there's a chance you're going to be entered in and then just say, oh, never mind, as long as I get the survey, I will win the contest. Like, I can understand if it was like a most surveys filled out will get you that win, but it, she's not guaranteed, you know what, screw it, I, I don't care. I, the more I dwell on it, the more annoyed I'm going to be. The ground at Journey Hollow was somewhat drier today. The mud caked the bottom of her boots, but at least she didn't sink into it. Life in the big city, she thought. She measure, measured the footprint of the old home foundation, as well as the surrounding clearances. Though this area would never reach big city status, the widening of the highway into Wagon Valley and the town of Rock Springs would bring exponential increase in traffic. Myron was right. This place was a gold mine. All she had to do was convince Justice Journey of that. Oh, you've got to be kidding. It's another three-page chapter. Like, the last one wasn't as bad because it was four, but I just... Why are we doing so short chapters? Like, you know what? Maybe this one will actually have some merit to it. Oh, boy. There's the food dispenser. I was half expecting a cat to run out. Anyway, Mary Beth took her time with the measurements, stopping often to scan the valley and marvel at the view. Her eagerness to get the final survey for the contest, plus her newfound hope for a future project, turning raw land into a thing that could be used and treasured by many people, overrode her misgivings as a trespasser. No, it does not override it! Trespassing is trespassing! This is bad, guys. Like, this is horrible. She would worry about Justice Journey and that shotgun barrel when and if it happened. It happened quick. He'd already seen her when she heard his approach. She, he stood up and she stood up and watched him make his way straight for her. It ruined her pleasant imagings, imagings of a rustic clubhouse on this very spot. Huge expanses of gl gl ah, I thought this said grass. Huge expanses of glass, plush, cubby leather chairs, perfect for sipping, reading, taking in the great outdoors. Of course, designed to capture the spectacular views of Wagon Valley, so splendidly lay out below. This time. The shotgun was upright his shoulder, sentry style. He didn't look friendly. What are you doing here? He said, I told you to leave. Mary Beth said the first thing that came to mind. You didn't say to keep off. Oh my God. Guys, she can't be this stupid. Just...
His look of scorn made her want to shrink away in shame, but it didn't stop her. Do you realize what a spectacular view you've got here? His lip curled up. He spat to the side. Yeah? I'm prepared to offer you three million dollars for this land. He chuckled. Mary Beth didn't know how to read that chuckle. She then pushed. That's ten thousand dollars an acre, you know. You own nearly three hundred acres. Justice let loose one of the biggest laughs Mary Beth had ever seen a man make. He doubled over, his face red. She might have felt foolish or angry at being laughed at, but she did not. Instead, it fascinated her. She had touched something inside him. It affected her, too. Kind of a warm and, well, mirthful. She smiled and shrugged. You think I'm funny? Justice Journey stopped laughing. He stroked his chin. He even smiled back. Well, what I can say, he said, is that your offer is funny. Don't know about you. He stared for a moment, as if he suddenly saw her in a different way. She stared back, not knowing where else to look. He kept staring. She did too. Until finally, the mutual staring grew uncomfortable, and she looked away. She swept her hand around in an arc. Mr. Journey, I don't think you realize the treasure you've got here, said Mary Beth. The highway into Wagon Valley is being widened. The road up here will be paved. The place will be crawling with tourists inside of ten years, maybe five. This site right here, where the house used to stand, is perfect for a nice big clubhouse, you know. The membership kind, where people sit and have drinks and dinner after they play golf. The shotgun rose at a menacing angle. Lady, he said, what you don't know about me and my land would fill up a damned encyclopedia. Now, get out of here and don't come back. But Mr. Journey, she said, I've also got come to ask your opinion on President Trump. No! Justice Journey pointed the barrel to the sky and pumped the shotgun. Just the sound of it was enough to stop her mid-sentence. Mary Beth scooted away, angry she, he would chase her off again, and so aggressively. She searched for words to throw back at him. She turned over the soldier, shoulder and yelled, It's a stupid house, much too small. We'd just tear it down, what's left of it, and start over again. You... That's the end of the chapter, but this protagonist has got to be the most unlikable so far. And I know she's, like, supposed to be, like, the MAGA-themed protagonist, unlike some of the others. We've had the single mom who is on a MAGA cruise. Go oh, away, your tail's in the shot. Go, oh, oh, rally, stop. I'm getting distracted easily, but we've had the feminist turned MAGA, we've had the MAGA single mom, and now we've got the ultra MAGA real estate developer. She's supposed to be the most likable and relatable for people that are MAGA supporters. Get out of the shot! <laughs> but she's so far the most unlikable at this point. And I, I don't see how there could be romance between her and this man that clearly wants nothing to do with her. But just like the last book, it's probably going to be shoved in our face and just completely pulled out of nowhere. So we'll take a short moment and we'll see where this goes next time.